A few apps to help teach students to touch the iPad by Jean E. Stork, Doctor of Science in Instructional Design and Technology. For many students, the iPads themselves are a sensory toy. You chew on them, you wiggle them around, pound them on the table. It's a drum. So I have apps that will help the kids learn that when they touch, something happens. And I'm going to go through a series of those apps now. This iPad has sensory, cause and effect, and art and music folders. I have iPads on three different levels. This is my most basic level for people just learning how to touch. We'll go to cause and effect first. The adult would have to set it up just to show you for people who work with older kids, there are cause and effect apps made for teenagers as well. Hi. Hi. Want to dance? Sure. This is from RJ Cooper. And you can customize this how you want. You can have blanking in between, extra visual feedback, which was the box around, sound effects on or off, music on or off. Some kids don't like the music. Make it what is right for your students. And for the younger kids, many of the kids like faces. One of the sensory apps that many of my students like is called Soundbox. Oh, one thing, you might see me sometimes using my middle finger, sometimes using my first finger. Some of my students use the middle finger drop down or the first finger drop down. I really don't care. My goal is to get the kids using one finger and not their whole hand. Here again, the adults might set, the adults will have to set it up. If the kids are able to set it up themselves, then I'm ready to move them on to a more advanced iPad where they have more choice making. This is my learning iPad. One of the things I can do is point to the different things and look for a smile. Are the kids able to show me in some way that that's what they want? Then the kids just press. works on the skill of holding down and holding down keeping the same place holding down moving moving's more fun it's an important skill later on when kids have to drag from one area to another say I want them to drag from this corner to this corner this app is lightbox it is the companion to soundbox very simple. Kids just learn when they touch, something happens. When they move their fingers, something happens. There are several sensory apps that are designed as sensory apps. This one could easily also be an art app. Calico. Set it up however you want it, whatever you think will interest the children, or if the children are able to make choices, they can decide. Just have fun playing with it and then tap the clown and it moves. Could be used just with a simple touch. Touch and hold, touch and move. This is called simple touch. Wherever you touch, something happens. Slightly smaller pictures. This student would already have the concept of touching, and now you're working a little bit more on focusing. Now, back to cause and effect. I want to show you one of my favorite R.J. Coopers. We saw a teenage switch before. This is early and advanced switch games. Welcome to early and advanced switch games. Switch games. 
You can put in the child's name. I'll keep it at hello for now. Starting with the green, earliest, up, and then the blue is more advanced, earliest, up. So the top green leads directly to the bottom blue. Sometimes art and music apps are a great way to teach kids how to touch. Here is glow coloring. It's just an art app, but it can be fun for some students. Draw stars, some of my kids like this one. It's hard to hear over the playground noises, but there is music. There are a variety of pond apps. Some of them involve building a pond and feeding the fish, but on this level, they make nice sensory play apps for students who, again, are just learning to touch. As long as you keep your finger down, you can hear the water, and you can see how the waves move. It's a little subtle, but when you can't go over a fish, it can be fun. You can remove some of the, some of the flowers are too distracting, remove some flowers. Sometimes sensory apps like the pond can also be good for calming down students who get upset. If a student is being very hyper, maybe playing with this for a, a couple minutes will calm them down. It works with some kids. And the main idea here is just for the students to learn not to keep tapping, but to hold their finger down. That's what I'm working on with this app. And if this is the app that encourages the students to follow that direction, fine. Here's an app that has what they call a latching mode. Press once to play, press again to stop. There's also a timed mode. Press to play for 10 seconds. I haven't shown you any latching yet, so I'm going to set it on that. And I'll put the music at random. You can also do no sound. Some students are very sound sensitive and the sound will distract them. One tap on, one tap off. This is a Sesame Street book. Here, students are a little bit more advanced. They have to touch specific things. What did that say? On the first page, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did? Oh, I am so scared of monsters. to the end of this book. That is good, because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please do not turn the page. And this continues with activities on the pages to encourage kids to interact with their turn iPads. The page! Oh! <laughs> Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning Pages will bring us to the end of this book. There is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages. See, I am tying the pages together so you can not hit me. And you see this prompts for where to touch. Ah, you touch the knot. Whatever you do, do not do that again. And it continues with a lot of interaction on each page until you get to the end of the page. And you're going to have to get the app. I'm not going to give it away. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if there's any special education teachers or parents of kids with significant 
intellectual disabilities or severe autism, maybe you've got an idea on where to start. Thank you. There are many great cause and effect and sensory apps that are available to parents, teachers, and therapists. I have just shown you the tip of the iceberg. The list of app titles in this video is in my comments below.